let's walk through the process now of working with Privileged Identity Management, also known as PIM. Okay, so here we are in portal.azure.com and I'm going to go to the little menu button here and I'm going to click All Services and we're going to search for Privileged Identity Management. All right, and there it is right there. I'm going to go ahead too, and I can just add that as a favorite by clicking the little star icon. So now it'll show up as one of my favorites here in my little menu bar. So I can just click on that. And here we are in uh, in PIM, in Privileged Identity Management. All right. And just kind of looking through some of our options here, I've got my roles. If I click on my roles, this is going to show me uh, if I have any eligible roles. Okay, I can click on active roles and this will show me my active roles. Now you can see I am a global administrator. So I, yeah, that's been assigned and that's permanent. I'm part of that role, right? So, you know, if you go back over to our Azure Active Directory, just standard Azure Active Directory, you can click on your, your roles and this is how we traditionally would add users to roles we can see all the different roles that are available here, right? And I should be able to go through and see the global administrator right here. And the global administrator, I can click on that and I can see that my user here has been given those rights, okay? Let's jump back over to, to Privileged Identity Management, all right? And uh, so I've got my roles. You can see that I have active roles. Do I have any roles that have expired? No. Okay, so this is when you go into Privilege Identity Management. If you if you're clicking on my roles, that's exactly what that sounds like. It is you're looking at roles that that your account has, not anybody else. Your account. You've got my request. This is if I've requested any roles. Okay, and then approve request. This is if I need to approve any request. I don't have any requests to approve right now from any users. Okay. So if any users have, have uh, requested, if you've, if you've required a role to be approved, that's where that would happen. You can also click Review Access and you can see uh, if, you know, if there's any particular um, uh, access reviews of, of a starting time period or an ending time period that, uh, that have occurred, you'd be able to see those here as well. All right, now here's where things get interesting. All right, I can go right here where it says Azure AD Roles. So let's go ahead and click on that. All right, and I've got some options here. I've got assign eligibility. I've got the activate your role. That's if I had a, had a role that was made available to me, this is where I could activate it. Assigning el eligibility, I'm gonna look at that with you here in a second, that's basically assigning a role. Here's where you would approve request and then you can also view history uh, of things that have happened through Privilege Identity Management here. So you can click on View History and you can see uh, previous things. So as you can see here, uh, I've added eligibility to a user and removed el el eligibility to a user, all that. But um, let's go back over here now, all right? And let's click on Settings. And you can see all these different settings uh, that we've uh, we've assigned or modified at the moment. All these different roles, as you can see, it's not showing that I've given, that I've modified any of these at the moment. So this is what settings is going to do for you when you're looking at it through the, the, uh, the AD roles. It's just going to show you if you've modified any, okay? Assignments. All right, I haven't done any assignments, but I could add an assignment if I want, okay? So if we look at roles, we can see all the different roles that are here. And then I could choose a, an, a role like user administrator. We'll kind of go along with that junior administrator example. Maybe I've got a junior administrator. I want to make a user administrator. I can do that right there. I can click on it. I can add assignment that way. So that's one way you can do it. Another way is if you come back over here to Azure AD roles and you go to assignments, you can do it through here as well. So you click to add the assignment, 
and then of course you've got to specify the role that you want to assign okay uh, so you can do that either you can do it either way you can click on Azure AD roles you can click assignments and then it'll make you choose the role or if you choose just the roles blade itself then you can choose the role you want like user administrator and you can add the role that way or add the the user to the role so I can also look at role settings and I've got all these different settings like activation maximum duration is eight hours you can require justification require a ticket information on activation so if you're using a ticketing system you've got MFA you can force that on the user all right uh, you can allow permanent permanent eligibility or you can turn that off for the role okay you can have a expire expiration so you can actually edit these different settings by just clicking edit and then you can you can actually go in and you can modify these settings very easily if you want okay so I encourage you to kind of come in there and peck around. Here's where I could set a duration if I wanted to for a maximum period that this person can, can get this role in hours if I want. So I want to, as you can see, it'll let me go, you know, uh, activation of, t of 24 hours if I wanted to set that uh, on activation, require MFA, require justification. If you got a ticketing system, require approval. If you want to approve, you could specify who the person is that's going to do the approvement right so you could set all of that very easily if you want like I said they've made this very intuitive they made it a lot easier they've actually improved on it it used to be a lot harder to deal with um, a while back but they've actually done a, a lot of work to it and made it a lot better okay so let's go through the process we're gonna we've got a user uh, named Chris Jones we're gonna we're gonna make Chris Jones a user administrator so I'm gonna go here and um, I'm gonna go to roles and we're going to go down to user administrator and we're going to click assignment all right so the roles here it's already signed we're going to click select our user and we're going to find Chris Jones there's Chris Jones so we're going to select Chris Jones we're going to click select he's going to be our junior admin maybe we're going to click next and if I wanted to get permanent eligibility I could but I don't want to so I could set a date I could say okay you know uh, this is gonna expire notice it sets it to a year of course if you went through settings you could set it to only be available for 24 hours or something but you could go through here it's set to a year right now but if I don't want to set it to a year I could you know I could go through here and set it to whatever I want Okay, so if I wanted to go ahead and just say we're going to allow this uh, this person to have access for a few days, we'll say till the 13th, 2020, we'll say assign, and Chris Jones is officially assigned. Okay, so we have officially given Chris Jones access to where he can accept it. All right. And uh, in this next little lesson, I'm actually going to log on as Chris Jones, and we're going to take a look at how Chris Jones would accept it. Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that will help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again.